There's a lot of exciting things that are out there in technology right now. Things are changing. Our economy is so rapidly changing. We are a global economy now where we have to be able to reinvent ourselves. Information technology at Stmelt is a keystone. Our systems are kind of like a neural network. If we are not up, the plant does not run, trucks do not ship. Embracing the technology for us particularly has really enabled us to uh, streamline our uh, assembly processes, uh, improved quality, even improved safety for our employees. We actually use it as a force multiplier. We've managed to create more jobs with our automation. Not only just more jobs, more skilled jobs. With everything that's out there today, and especially the younger generations coming up, uh, everything is technology-based. And, and not just in the devices that we carry or uh, the computers that we use. Computer science and the technologies of computer science are going to be in everything and everywhere. And that's going to continue growing. It's in our nature to use these technologies to make our lives easier and better. And since it's a new market, there's just a lot of opportunity. So about three years ago, we chose to move our software company from the Seattle area to the North Central Washington Wenatchee Valley because we love it here. And now we're looking to continue to build our team and find technology talent to add to our team here in the region and in the community. As an employer of the area, I would like to see more computer science students that would provide the ability to tap resources locally. When we go to hire, we're having a very hard time finding qualified candidates. Yeah, out of the school system, it's very viable for them to come in with a degree from the community college or a university that would provide the entry level skills that they need. These jobs pay well, yet we cannot find the individuals to fill those jobs. And so we have to pull out of the area and we do extensive advertising and searching to find qualified candidates. We employ about 150 people. A lot of them are very technical, and it's hard for us to find people sometimes because of that. Most of the time we have to train our own. I don't think it's a lack of awareness of the programs. I think it's a lack of awareness of the students understanding the positions are here in this area. I think they think the positions are in the Seattle area. They, they don't see it in the, in, the, in the agricultural industry. You know, if they actually saw what it took to put fruit in a box, they'd understand that it's not as simple as picking the fruit and sticking it in the box, that there's a massive amount of technology. If I was uh, 21 and I was starting over again, I would take a hard look at, at writing programs for applications. I think there's something for everybody if they think about what they like and try to find a computer industry that fits that. I know local industry partners are ready and excited to help educators build these incredible pathways to future careers in computer science. What's important and what's exciting is when I see educators that are willing to help their students look to the future and learn those skills about problem solving and exploration and the what if and see what, what, what amazing things that I can do with technology to change and mold the future.